Hey guys, hope you're well, it's Alessio. I wanna to talk to you about a crash in a bear market in a major commodity. In fact, let me just give you some context. Back in March of this year, I talked to you about a major crash in the price of oil. As you can see here from my video back in March, as a get ready for the oil crash of 2018. And it seems this oil crash has now started. Now I should tell you, I am a bit surprised that this oil crash did not happen sooner. I actually thought the bear market in oil was going to start in the first half of 2018. As it happens, it started in the second half of 2018. But it is what it is. So it does appear that the crash in the bear market in oil has indeed started. And yes, guys, I do think it's just a beginning. And we have potentially more downside to come as we go through the rest of the year and next year. However, there is something I want to bring to your attention. We should be very careful right now about getting too bearish at the moment. Here's why. The majority of the opinion, the majority of public opinion sentiment has become extremely bearish right now. And in fact, if you take a look at the RSI indicator, this is the relative strength index right now, it is oversold. It is oversold on the daily time frame and also it's oversold on the weekly time frame. Take a look at this. This is the weekly chart. You can see it is also oversold on the weekly time frame, which means what? It means we should be careful about getting too bearish right now because there's a strong risk of a bounce, a potential bounce in the next few days or potentially as we go through next week. Now, there's also something else I want to show you, which is this indicator called LT Delta Vortex. This is the indicator you see here, right here. And this is designed by a good friend of mine who's a mathematician, Simon Shepard. And Simon is an absolute genius. Let me tell you, uh, this indicator that Simon has made here is an absolute work of art. Let me just give you an example. So these orange dots you see here, they're just heads up, they're warning signals. So it's warning us we should be on the alert for a potential blue signal. And when there's a blue signal, which has not happened yet, but when there's a blue signal, essentially it becomes a buy signal or a long signal. Let me just give you an example. Uh, back in June of this year, you can see that, in fact, oil uh, was dropping. Okay, and then we got an orange signal followed by a blue signal. The blue signal essentially was the trigger or confirmation that we could have a potential big bounce or rally. You can see that oil did indeed bounce higher. However, you can see the signal that occurred uh, before that. There was a signal that occurred just before this here. Uh, it was a blue signal right here. That one did not work out so much. Okay, so it's not going to work every single time. That was a small loss in that situation. And of course, no indicator is going to work every single time, but it does work the majority of the time. Let me show you this one. Here's a great example for you right over here. You can see oil was dropping here. We get the heads up, the orange signal, followed by the blue signal. And then what do we have? Boom we get oil putting a strong rally. And in fact, this rally continued uh, for much further. Let me show another example here. So bring this back. Okay, this is absolutely wonderful. Let me show you this. So over here, we can see again, price of oil drops. Okay, we get the heads up, the orange, and then followed by the confirmation blue trigger. And that resulted in a nice rally, which of course continued uh, further. Let me show you another one. Here's oil dropping significantly lower. We get the orange heads up and then the blue buy signal right here. And of course, that ended up being in a nice little bounce in the price of oil. Same thing happened over here. Oil was dropping. We get the heads up. And of course, we get the blue buy signal, which of course resulted in a nice little rally there. And of course, as swing traders, all we have to do is just trail our stop loss there um, using velocity, for example, to be able to manage the trade. And by the way, this works in other time frames too. This is the weekly time frame chart. And on the weekly, you can see we had also uh, a buy signal back in 2017. You can see price of oil dropped. And we had in fact two buy signals here. And then we had a nice little rally off of that. All right, guys, so what I'm waiting for uh, is to see if there's going to be a blue signal in the next few days or as we go through next week. Again, there is no blue signal at the moment. So there is no confirmation trigger or buy signal at present, but it could potentially happen as we go through the rest of the week or indeed next week. So we'll keep an eye on that. And of course, when the blue signal occurs, what we could expect is a potential bounce, a major bounce that could take us up uh, potentially to 62, maybe 63 uh, on oil here. So that's going to be very interesting. And by the way, don't get me wrong here. I'm only expecting a short term bounce in oil, a short term rally in oil once we get the blue LT Delta Vortex blue signal. So once that blue signal occurs and once we get the bounce in oil, I'm fully expecting this oil market to roll over and die and for the downtrend to continue. And by the way, guys, I'll let you know by the end of the year as to when we're looking to release this indicator, the Delta Vortex, and I think potentially could be by the end of the year or in January of 2019. Thanks very much indeed. And guys, if this video has helped, please give it a thumbs up and also please subscribe for future videos. Thanks a lot.